Hi friends. This Shabbat we continue reading the story of Jacob in Parashat Vaishlach. And true to form, Jacob, like many of our heroes and heroines in the Tanakh, gets a name change. Avraham did from Avram, and Sarah did from Sarai, although those are pretty subtle. Jacob gets a major name change into Yisrael. That name echoes down through the generations, so much so that today, of course, the word Israel, the people, the land, the country, the state, the place, has a huge, huge, huge influence in our world. Many people claim to be Israel who aren't. Many people have strong feelings about a word that they don't even understand. And all of it comes back to the fact that this is the name which Jacob is given after he wrestles with a man, a stranger in the night, as he's about to meet his brother again after 20 years estranged. The name Israel is often conventionally understood to mean one who wrestles with God. Some even translate it in a slightly modern way as God wrestler, which sounds great. Unfortunately, that's probably not what it actually means. Jacob does do a lot of wrestling in the story, and several times it describes what is a word for struggle or wrestle or contend or fight or argue, avak. But when it comes to the actual naming, the being which Jacob fights with doesn't name him Avkiel, one who wrestles with God. He names him Yisrael, a word which has no precedent before this. Not was The word wasn't in the story, nor was the word even in the Torah before this, nor will it be again. It's almost unique to this particular scenario. It occurs once more in the book of Hosea, but there he's referring to this scenario in Genesis. So we have a really hard time understanding what that word Yisrael means. The explanation given in Genesis is that it's based on the verb sarita, which is usually translated as you contended with or you fought with. Many of the more serious dictionaries will translate it as to persevere, sarah. But again, it's not clear why. There's only two real instances of it. There's no real analogs in other languages. There's maybe a Arabic word that is roughly similar, but it would have evolved much later. So we're really just guessing, actually, when we try and understand what sarita means in the angel's description and what the word Yisrael as a result means as a name for Jacob. The most likely answer is that the word is based on sar, a much older word, one borrowed from Akkadian, and which is a title for a prince or a chief or a commander. In modern Hebrew, sar is a minister. Sar apanim is the minister of the interior, for instance. And sar means something to do with ruling, being noble, being in charge of other people. Sara, her name originally, is from the same root. Indeed, Sarai is often understood as meaning princess. So it's much more likely that Jacob's name, that the explanation of it, of Sarita, and the name Yisrael, actually are based on this earlier word of Sar, of being a ruler or prince among people. And most likely, if we want to try and translate Yisrael, we should understand it as meaning God will rule, or God will be noble, or something to that regard, rather than wrestling with God. Jacob does do the wrestling, but it's actually not what's in his name. And names are important, and in some way, branding is very important. Jacob is well aware of this and goes to great efforts to make sure that his brother sees a certain image of himself as they come to meet. And so we really have an opportunity this week to consider all the names we use for ourselves and how we display those names and how they manifest around us in the world when we go about identifying ourselves by certain names. It's timely in some way, as uh, here at Sam's we have some new swag in order to share and to sell uh, in our online shop, which is new. I'm wearing one now. You can see our new Sam's t-shirts. Got the name on the front and the shofar on the back. And uh, encourage you, if you're looking for a Hanukkah present for someone in your life, to go on our website and uh, check out our shirts that are there. Branding, like Jacob knows, like Yisrael knows, is something which goes a long way, and the names we use for ourselves matter a great deal. Shabbat Shalom.